In this video, we're going over how to use the Fitbit Iconic for beginners. Hey everyone, thank you for joining us today. If you want to stay up to date on all the mobile technology coming out and learn cool tips, tricks, and hidden features, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and tap the bell to turn on post notifications so you can be alerted every time we post new videos. Today we're going to walk you through how to use the Fitbit Iconic for beginners. And we're going to start from just pairing it to your phone, the initial setup, kind of how to navigate it, and how to set up your notifications so you can have all your apps come through it. We're going to go over how to reply to text messages and also how to change the clock face. So we're going to try to cover a wide range of the different things you would need to know to use this device um, at its best. Uh, quick apology, this is a used Fitbit that I purchased just to test. And it does have some paint on the side here that doesn't come off. I tried to wipe off, so uh, disregard that. Uh, let's go ahead and jump right in. So when you first get out of the box, uh, you will need to take out the charger, USB charger. You'll need to plug it into a either your computer or a USB wall adapter. And the other end will magnetically just snap to the back just like this. That's how you get it to turn on. And it will display uh, a set of numbers. You'll then need to download the Fitbit app. So if you're on an iPhone, you would go to the App Store and do a search for Fitbit. If you're on an Android phone, you would do the same thing. Go to the Google Play Store, do a search for the Fitbit app and download it. And then when you open it, it will ask you to set up an account. So just an email address and a password. You can easily set up your account. From there, it will ask you to select which version of the Fitbit you have. This is the Fitbit Iconic. You'll select that and then uh, you'll show the numbers on the screen. It will pair up with your phone. You will want to swipe down and make sure that your Bluetooth is turned on at the top of the screen here. There's a little Bluetooth icon. Make sure that is lit up so that it can find your device. Once they are linked, it will take you to this screen, which is the main page of the Fitbit app that corresponds with all the data that's coming from your Fitbit. So. That is kind of the pairing process in a nutshell for the setup. We're going to come back to the phone in a second. So now I want to walk through just basically navigating the device. So this is the uh, main button to wake up the screen. Well, you can wake it up two ways. You can either tap this left button on the side here to show the clock, or if it's on your wrist and you turn your wrist, it will automatically turn on the screen. So. That's how you get the screen on. Now this is just one of many clock faces. There are a ton to choose from, free and paid. And later on in the video, I'll walk you through how to go to the store and actually search for other clock faces and how to install them. But for now, the left button is a button that will wake up the screen for you. And if you hold down on this button, it will take you to the exercise section where you can then select a specific exercise that you want to do and you're basically telling the Fitbit how you want to track that workout to get the most accurate results. So that's a quick shortcut on the left side by holding down the button for one second. This button on the right here, tapping this button will do the same thing, also take you to the exercise section. Now later in the video, I'll show you how to reprogram this button and you can have it take you to a different app or section of your Fitbit. So we'll get to that in a little bit. This button on the right side here, tapping it one time when you're on the home screen, it will take you to the alarm section. So you can set really easy alarms. Just tap new alarm, um, tap on the numbers here, and then you'll just swipe on the left side here to select the hour, swipe here to select the minute, and then up and down at the end to pick if it's AM or FM and what you want. When you're finished, you're gonna tap on the left side here, this left button, that will save whatever time you set and make sure on is lit up and now your alarm is set. And then when you swipe down, you can make it a smart alarm or a smart wake alarm. So it will kind of gauge if you're in a deep sleep and it will wake you up somewhere in between these time periods so that you're not jolted out of sleep. So kind of a cool feature there. As you swipe down, you can select how often you want that alarm to go off. So every day, on specific days of the week. Um, you don't have to pick any of these if you don't want. You can just set it as a one-time alarm. Um, by just 
setting this and then leaving it alone, that will set it as a one-time alarm, but you can make it a reoccurring alarm by tapping one of the options here. And when you're done, just tap the button on the left here to save it and take you back. And now your alarm will show up as one of the set alarms. And you can easily turn the alarm off by just tapping on the little clock icon there. Now that it has a slash over it, that alarm won't go off anymore. Use this button to go back. And we're now back on our home screen. Now on this particular clock face, when you tap on these little icons here, it will show you, for example, your steps. This will show you what your heart rate is, and this will show you how many calories you've burnt. So you can kind of toggle between the different options just like that. Now, when you swipe up, it will take you to a section that has more detailed um, metrics for you to look at. So steps, calories burnt, steps, how many, uh, excuse me, uh, stairs, what distance you have walked in miles. So you can toggle through uh, different sets of data. You can swipe up to see your active hours, resting heart rate, days of workout. And if you go to setting, this is really cool, going to settings will allow you to uh, add some other options here. So if you want the water tracker, you can just tap that and you'll add water tracking and food tracking to that list. And you can enable these later on once you set up the app. So that's kind of cool. That's how you get to more detailed um, metrics and uh, what it's tracking uh, on the watch. Now, if you swipe down from the top here, it will actually show you notifications. So different um, things that have come through from your phone. So I have it linked, for example, to my text messages. So if someone sends me a text, that'll show up on the screen. I have a NBA app, it sends me news alerts. So I'll show you later on how to go into the app section and you can then tell it, hey, I want to get notifications from the Chase app, but I don't wanna get notifications from this app. So you can be very specific about what comes through. Now next, when you swipe to the left, you'll get some of your other app options here. So the exercise, music, coach, alarms, heart rate, weather, wallet, timer, the settings, Pandora, all the different apps you download will show up in um, these next pages. Cool feature here, find my phone. If you tap on this, you can use it to ping your phone if you're in Bluetooth range, so that's kind of cool. It makes a very loud and obnoxious noise, so just FYI. I would do it for the video, but it's so darn loud. Okay, we're gonna go to settings here. And I wanna show you what I mentioned earlier, which is how to reprogram this button here to launch something different. Cause right now this button and this button are both set to launch the exercise function. And we want to make them useful. So have them do different things. So we're gonna swipe up and tap on left button and let's change it. So now that left button is gonna launch a timer and we'll just simply go back and now we're done. So if we hold this button here, it'll take us now to the timer section and not to the exercise section. So that's just one little tip. Make that button whatever you'd like based on the options that are in that section. And that's about it for controlling um, the watch. Actually, one more thing I wanna show you. So if you do get a text message, so let's swipe down from the top, or just to show you if you hold down this button here, if you hold the button, it will bring down your notifications. If you tap the button, it'll launch exercise. So that's the difference in kind of how to use that button. So if I do go to a text message, for example, and I tap on it, I can reply to this message by tapping reply. And there are pre-recorded replies in here. Yes, no, sounds good. If you tap on the three dots here, you can select even more options. Can't talk now, we'll reply later, what's up? Use the back button to go back one. You can also reply with an emoji. You can tap one of these or tap the three dots down here to select a few other emojis and you can respond to that message again with an emoji, anyone that's in this section here. And there are um, options in the phone. When you link it with the app, you can go to the app and you can actually change what your auto replies are. So that's something to explore for later. Use our back button to go back, but that's how you reply to a text message. Okay.
So now let's jump into the phone here. So here is the app. And what you're gonna wanna do is tap on the profile icon in the left corner. Now disclaimer, um, the, this app does get updated usually twice a year. So depending on when you're watching this video, this setting might look different, but as of right now, this is uh, October 2020. This is how the, the setting men. This is how the settings menu looks. So hopefully, it hasn't been updated too much since we filmed this video. Okay, you're gonna come down to devices, and here it says Iconic. That's our Fitbit. Tap on that, and this is where you can do more customization. So change the clock face, download more apps, um, add media, accessories. You can um, add a credit card if you wanna use the pay option. Uh, all those are gonna be handled in this section right here. Before we get into that, I do wanna go down to notifications. This is where you will be able to set up your Fitbit to receive text messages, calls, app notifications, all in this section. So you'll notice here text, you just need to tell it which app you use as your primary text message app. In my case, I use Google Messages, so we're good, but uh, you'll wanna select the appropriate messaging app here so that it will send it properly through the watch here. Um, same thing for calendar, you can tell it what calendar app you use. Uh, for emails, you can set which email client you like to use the best. And then for app notifications, it's just gonna give you a list of all the apps that are on your phone and you pick and choose, hey, I want this app to send notifications. I don't wanna receive notifications from this app here. So I might go through and say, hey, I want notifications from Best Buy, but I don't want notifications from B of A. Probably should do it in the opposite order, not do B of A and, or not do Best Buy, but B of A, check that. And now if you ever get a message from that app, it will show up on your phone. So that's kind of how that works. So you would have to go through this list and check each and every app and see which one you want to sh to come through your phone and come through the Fitbit. Um, my recommendation is don't select too many because then you're gonna be receiving so many notifications that it's gonna be frustrating and you may just stop using it all together. So only pick what is really important. That's my recommendation. Here is the quick reply section so you can change what the quick reply options are. So, for example, for text messages, I'd have to go to messages and then I can change what quick replies come up when someone sends me a text. I can also change which emojis show up as an option for the quick reply as well. So you can go through and customize it to what you use the most. Now next we're gonna go over how to change the clock face. So tap on clocks, or clock faces, excuse me. And here you will see um, the main one you're using, which is the one that comes stock on it. And down here, you'll be able to save um, up to five faces that you like to change between them. So tap on all clocks, and you'll find these different categories of clock faces. I always like to look at the ones that say Fitbit Lab, or just Fitbit, or Staff Picks first, before I look at any of the other options. They just recently added a free clock section, so you can look through here for only clocks that are free. Keep in mind, there are a lot of clock faces on here that are not free, and just to show you how to, how to determine what is a free clock face and what isn't, if I tap on, let's say I tap on this option here, I have an option that says, this item may require payment, which is solely managed by the developer. So if you ever see this, it means that the clock face is not free. And what it will usually do is let you download it and then it will have a number that flashes across the screen that you'll have to enter when you go to, it's gonna be a number and a small website that you'll have to go to. And as you can see right here, it says free 24 hour trial and then it's 199 to purchase. So keep in mind, you may find something here that you really like and you don't mind paying for. I've definitely bought a couple myself. Um, just be aware that they are not all free. Now, let me show you what a free clock face looks like. So let's tap on this one here. And notice you don't see that disclaimer that, oh, this may require payment. 
So that's how you know you can download this one immediately and it's going to be totally free. To download it, you simply tap select and just give it a minute to download. Um, you'll see it download and then a few seconds later it will show up on your Fitbit uh, once it's been installed. So obviously follow the line across, you're done. So that's how you download different clock faces and there are a ton of options that are in the store. So take your time, go through here and really find what matches with the metrics that you want to see on your screen. And again, I say work the trial. Some of them will give you a 24 hour trial or an hour trial. Try it out, see if you like it before you spend your money. Again, there are a lot of paid options here. Um, so if you want to pay for one and you want something specific, go through and find what you like. And let's see if our new clock face, it hasn't loaded yet. So we'll need to just wait for it really. If you go to clock faces, it should show up. Oh. So it's still installing here, hit continue. And you'll see the little Fitbit icon show up. And there is our new clock face. Now this one is quite ugly. I definitely didn't choose a nice one, but either way, just wanted to show the process of how you change the clock face. And again, you can save it down here as a favorite so you can get to it easy and you can easily navigate between your different faces. So I can tap here to have it jump back to this one, just like that. So that's a cool way you can download a couple that you like. I like to have a few different clock faces down there and maybe I'll use one for working out. I use one for going out. You know, you can have different faces for different events. You can save up to five at the bottom section right there. So that's how you download clocks. Now let's go back. The last thing I want to show you is how to download applications. So this is the app section. You'll find all the apps that are already installed in the My App section. If you go to the right to All Apps, you will see all the apps that are available in the store. And just go through. If you like one, it's the same process. You would simply tap on it first and then tap Install and that will download it to your Fitbit and then it will show up uh, when you swipe over on your pages it'll show up on the last page. So that's how you download an app and that's it. Let's go back and this is our main screen. So this has been how to use the Fitbit Iconic for beginners. We tried to go over just the main points that everyone seems to ask about when we do these videos. So. Um, we hope you found this helpful. Leave a comment down below if it was helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share if it was helpful as well. Hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Take care, and as always, have a good one.